Psych, you guys. Thought I was going to show you something. Nossa, desde ontem tá difícil pra sentar. Ué, você fez ontem? Nada. Please don't be ugly. Please don't be ugly. Please. Please. Oh my god! So here's a quick test to see if you are gay. You still there? Oh, you're gay. I don't understand why people still lie about what they want to try and get sex. It's like, if you want to fuck, I'll fuck. I'm a slut. If you want a relationship, we can go on a couple dates and see how it goes. But what's not going to happen is you're not going to lead me on for six months. Tell me I'm your person. Draw me back in every time I try and leave you just to break my heart when you go back to school because you want to fuck everything with a pulse. Oh, and if you don't know what you want, stay far the fuck away from me. Because I'm sensitive and I get attached. Uh, this is pretty funny. I'm gonna give it an 8 out of 10 minus 2 for homophobia. I think it's still like a fun amount of homophobia. Hello, I am your genie. You get three. I want a fat ass. I want a fat ass. Let's go. Fat ass. Okay, there are some rules that I. Shawty got a big old butt. Come on. Come on. Wish number one, two, and three. Let's go. I'm looking. Come on. I definitely have some more important shit to focus on right now before branching into that. Straight men just cannot accept that gay men are the superior race. You see, the other day I was at work and one of my coworkers tried mocking me and he was like, I bet you don't know how to change a car tire. And I laughed in his face and I said, son, I'm a terrible driver. Of course I know how to change a car tire. And then I asked him, I threw it back at him and I said, do you know how to change your oil? What about your power steering? What about jump off a car? What about charge your car battery? And homeboy didn't know how to do any of it. And I said, come here, let me tell you a secret. Gay men are better at doing anything that a straight man does. We just don't like doing what straight men like to do. What do you think it makes you masculine to get up under that car? I think it makes me dirty when I could be picking out pillows for my new couch or editing my pictures. But even if I did do it, it would still be better because we're not the same. I may look like a potato right now, but trust me, bitch, one day I'm gonna be a french fry and all you motherfuckers are gonna want me. If I had a boyfriend, I would just randomly get on top of him and say cute things like, You and your forefathers have devastated the balance of this world, and now you shall pay the ultimate price. Well, shit. What are y'all doing? Screwing? Every friend group has all three. A bisexual. A second bisexual. A third bisexual. So today's not a normal adventure video. We're about to spill the tea on the biggest gay fact of all. We decided today was the day we're gonna do the 17 kilometer six hour hike. Okay, right, the hike began and we had like a 30 second jog only because it was like super cold. There was a few warning signs about this hike because people get lost at nighttime. But honestly, I wouldn't mind. Look at this waterfall. Actually, there were many waterfalls, beautiful ones, just one right after the other. We took in all their beauty like a good hiker should. We also had our fair share of obstacles on the way, plus getting lost once. We also stopped many times to chill, to have some food. Oh, and here's the wallabies I tried to get on camera, but didn't. I even ran ahead and tried to scare Luke. He was having none of it. We done this six hour hike in three hours. And here are the facts. Gays walk fast, period. Gab says, Nick Jonas could choke me on any holy day. And choking, huh? Makes two of us.
Why are there so many boys out in my backyard right now? Oh my god, my milkshakes. Mommy baby. You're what? I'm mommy baby. You're my baby? Yes. And I'm <laughs> fucking cute. <Whoa. laughs> All right, so I moved to San Diego and I'm staying with my friend that I was stationed with in the Navy. And she gets home from work and she was like, hey, I have a camera set up around the house. And I was like, well, all right, yeah. And she was like, for security reasons. I'm like, okay. And then I look at her and she looks at me and then it hits me. She saw me filming content for work on her security cameras and then walking around her house butt ass naked cheeks out little sammy slinging around she got it for free that quality 7.99 content but i don't pay rent so enjoy anna okay i'm gonna say a name and you tell me the first last name that comes to your mind Billy. Eilish. Miley. Cyrus. Johnny. Cash. Fuck! <laughs> Hollywood loves to trick straight people into seeing gay movies. Imagine being super hetero and going to see the super straight movie, Call Me By Your Name, expecting this, but instead you watch the beautiful Timothy Chalamet and Army Hammer eat peaches. Or you go to see Brokeback Mountain to watch Anne Hathaway and Jake Gyllenhaal start a cute family, but instead you see two men do the dirty for two hours. 911, hello, I think my friend just died. Okay, I understand. First things first, make sure he's dead, okay? Okay, I got it. <laughs> okay, now what? What the fuck? Surprise, bitch. I bet you thought you saw the last of me. I'm gonna do the Zoom challenge and meet the... Hotter version of myself. One, two, three. Um, something's wrong here, cause that made it worse. <laughs> what the heck are you wearing? What are you wearing? Don't be suspicious. 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 Okay, my husband has just blown my mind with this thing that his dad showed him when he was a kid. Apparently, if you start the clock at 30 seconds, you go to a door frame and you hold your wrists on either side of that door frame and push as much pressure as you can on either side. Come on, keep going. Uh, how much longer? About 15 seconds, keep going. Oh God, oh God. As hard as you possibly can with your wrists, as much pressure. Okay, come on. You got five more seconds left. Three, two, one, okay. And you come out of that door frame, your arms will raise themselves. <laughs> Chew at this if you don't believe me. In the midst of coronavirus, someone secretly mailed a wedding certificate to the Archdiocese of Cincinnati. It showed a marriage between two men, one being Mr. Zimmerman, beloved English teacher at Alter High School in Ohio. Four years ago, Mr. Z married Michael, a dancer and the love of his life. But when the Archdiocese saw that wedding certificate, Mr. Z disappeared from his classes. During quarantine, he was fired for marrying a man. Not to be straight phobic, but could you imagine waking up every morning and being like, mm, Grey's Anatomy is the best. Hey, are you gay? Because I want to talk to you for a minute. I've been looking for your fabulous ass all over TikTok. I'm a Christian mother and I love gay people. I know it's kind of weird. My son gets on to me all the time. He's like, mom, you cannot just love on gay people in public. And I'm like, well, why 
not because somebody needs to let you know that you're loved and that Jesus loves you. And it's absolutely perfectly amazing for you to be exactly who you are because you need to live your truth. Okay. So if you haven't met me before, I'm mama. And if you are not from an accepting household, I will be your mother now. I'm so excited to meet you. Please let me know who you are down below so we can become a big, fabulous family. Make sense? I hope so. Please don't think I'm a weirdo. I just want to love you. Uh.